Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from computergargar.com and in this video we are going to look at different techniques for converting text into date values because it's very common to have to work with dates, analyze data by dates in Excel but if Excel doesn't recognize it as a date then it's pretty useless. So in this first example we have in column A some dates, but they're not recognized as such. A full stop has been used to separate the days, months, and years. We need to convert that. Now, one nice quick way of doing that would be to select the cells in question. So I could select the entire column A, for example, imagining that this list is quite large. And on the far right of the Home tab, find and select into Replace keyboard shortcut is control H that would take you straight into this window and find what the full stop that period replace with the slash the classic date format and if I hit replace all we get this message telling us how amazing find and replace is so we click OK to that silliness and as I close this down we have dates converted there are other techniques we could have used, but I'll keep it as that for the moment. We will undo that step and let's look at a formula approach. Because maybe you're receiving these dates regularly and you would like something more automated. Now for a formula here, we can use substitute. A formula I have spoken about quite a lot in the past, a very useful text function. So, in this cell, if I typed equals substitute, a function that will replace old text with new, pretty much what we did with find and replace. The text is cell A2, comma, the old text is that full stop, and another comma means the new text is the slash. We're prompted for an instance number, but I don't need that here. I want to replace all instances. Close bracket. Now that will replace it, yes, and put it into a slash, and I can copy that down, but this is a text function. So although it looks great, it's still text. So after substitute, value function. This will convert it into a number. So I'll just close bracket on the end, wrap that around substitute. It now throws it to the right hand side of the cell. Now if that was not formatted as a date uh, immediately and these cells are, then you would simply select them and choose dates from the drop down. You may receive your answer in this kind of format instead. Okay, let's look at another scenario. I have this sheet here where we have dates again this time they're in a numeric format. They're not actually text, but it is a typical text form where we have four digits for the year, two for the month and two for the day, an eight digit number. Now that's the order of this, but it could be a different order. It could be the day at the front followed by the month by the year or the month at the front followed by the day by the year. But really the concept is that you have an eight digit number and that represents the eight digits of a date. Now, the manual way. I could select these cells. Go into a good friend of mine, text to columns. Amazing feature of Excel, been around a long, long time, still really useful. Delimiter, no, not interested. Uh, don't have one, I'm going to remove tab, not that there are any. Next, step three is what we want. Date option. What is the format? For me right now, it's YMD, year, month, day. But you would choose the one that's necessary for you from the list provided. I click finish, boom, we have dates that we can work with. That is one way of achieving that. Uh, scenario manually. But if I undo that step, formula approach. Now for this, we need to extract the different parts of that value. So I'm going to use a date function 
But within date, where it prompts us for the year, and then the month, and then the day, we'll need different functions to extract those parts. So year first, uh, and literally is for me in the, in the cell as well. So I'm going to use the left function, open bracket, text A2, comma, four digits, in this example, make up the year. Close bracket, comma, now we need the month. That's in the middle. It goes from the fifth character, and its length is two. So we will use the mid function, because it's in the middle. The text is A2, comma, the starting number is five. The first month digit is the fifth character. The length is two. It's two characters long from number five. Close bracket, comma, now for the day, that's on the right hand side. Right function from A2, two digits, close bracket for right function, close bracket for the date function. Now this is the date function. So as soon as you press enter, it is a date. Whereas in the previous example with substitute, we had the issue of it being text, even though the result looked good. Here it looks good and it also is good because of the function we've used. Filling that down, we have our goal. Now, for the last example, I wanted to demonstrate two other useful formulas, uh, which are value, which we've already seen actually in this video, and date value. So I've got four different examples here of dates, a little bit of a mixture to try and demonstrate these. Now, these functions are great when it is already in a kind of date format, but it's been stored as text. But it's not like in these examples where I needed to replace delimiters or extract parts of a date. We don't have that problem here. It looks great already. It's just been stored as text. So if I was to type equals and use the value function, which is the one we saw in the first example to convert it to a number, if I use value and use it on that text, close bracket and enter, and that converts it straight away into that date format. Now if I drag it down, notice with value that it converts it to a number. It doesn't convert it to a date, it converts it to a number. So notice how it maintains the uh, decimal here for the time. I wanted to use the time example here, one o'clock, to demonstrate that. And that's what value does. We can then go and format it as a date, it's done the hard work, and that will take out that time value. We could keep the formatting to keep it there if we wanted. You can see if I click on the cell, that you know the value is still there. If I was to bring it back, I'm just hiding it with formatting. But it is there. If I remove those and use the date value function, it's quite a similar story. Actually, let me just remove the formatting actually from those. I don't want you to be misled by that example there. Let me go again. At the date value function on that cell, close bracket. It's not immediately in date form in the way that the date function was before. But one difference here, tiny difference, no decimal. So whereas the value function converts text to number, maintain the time information, date value strips the time information out because it literally just wants the date. We still need to format it, so if the cells in your spreadsheet are not already formatted, that will need to be done. And there's many ways of formatting those dates in different formats. Doesn't have to be the kind of classic format that I've kept to in this video. So this video was all about using formulas and classic Excel tools to do the common task of converting text into date values. No Power Query, no VBA, none of that stuff. Simple formulas and uh, well-known Excel tools doing really useful jobs for us. I hope you found this video useful. Please check out some of our other video tutorials on our YouTube channel and come check us out at computergargar.com.